Hi, I'm Nick Nadi, Senior Vice President of Sales at ICAR, and I'm delighted to release this Isaac, or Industry Segment Advisory Council, driving the conversation roundtable to discuss ICAR's Enhanced Professional Development Program, or PDP. I'd like to note that this roundtable was recorded in 2018 in preparation for launch of the Even Better ICAR Enhancements. The recorded roundtable remains as timely and relevant as ever, a driving force in all the effort that went into our launch. As you may know, our Isaacs are comprised of individuals from various segments of our industry, offering a true voice of the customer into ICAR programs and services. The panelists featured in this roundtable represent some of our Collision Repair Isaac members, offering some great insights and perspective on the new PDP enhancements from their unique points of view. All right, hello everybody. My name is Nick Nadi. I am Senior Vice President of Sales and Marketing at ICAR, uh, and I am delighted to have this esteemed group with us today to talk about our professional development program. Uh, let's, let's call it a uh, revitalization. Um, so with that, uh, I'm going to ask you some questions about the, uh, the professional development program uh, work that we've done over the past many years. Uh, and before I do that, I'd just like to go around the room and, and uh, have you introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about your business and how long you've been on the Collision Repair Isaac with ICAR. So we'll start with, start in the right-hand corner here with Bill. My name's Bill Condren. I'm the Fixed Operations Director at Sawgrass Ford. Um, I've been uh, involved with ICAR since the 80s. Uh, I've been with the Isaac, oh, since its inception pretty much here in the Southeast. and. Uh, been very gratifying the things we've been able to accomplish and uh, and talk out and share with the industry. Great, thanks, Bill. Great to have you with us. Mark, how about you? Mark Williams. I own Williams Auto Body in uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin. I've uh, been uh, involved in iCar for quite a few years. We're only 30 miles from the Appleton Tech Center for iCar, so it's uh, nice and handy for us. Um, I've been uh, part of the Isaac since its inception, I believe, uh, this time around, and uh, enjoyed it very much, and uh, got to learn a lot about the industry and other parts of the country. So, been great, and uh, appreciate the chance to be here. Great, thanks, Mark. Great to have you with us, Tim. Hello, everybody. My name is Tim Brown. I am with the LC Automotive Group. We're a small MSO in Southern California. Uh, and just rebranded recently to first certified collision centers uh, to kind of mirror where we're headed. Uh, certified collision repairs, OEM certifications. Um, and with that said, I've been a supporter of ICAR since the late 70s, back in the original nine part series days. I've been an advocate ever since. Um, and I believe it's about five years that I've been involved with Isaac. Great. Thanks, Tim. Nice to have you with us. And last but not least, Amber. Hi, my name is um, Amber Alley. I'm a general manager of Versati's Body and Fender in San Rafael, California. Um, I'm also an executive board member on the SCRS. Um, I have uh, been here at Versati's for 15 years. We're also um, highly involved in the OEM pro um, programs. Um, we have quite a few different ones um, that we are involved in. Um, part of that has um, uh, required us to stay ICAR Gold. Um, it has become part of our culture. Um, I've been taking ICAR Gold or ICAR classes for 20 years myself, um, and I have been involved with I6 for about a year and a half now. I'm, I'm one of the newer, um, but it's been a really great experience, and I look forward to the things to come. Thanks, Amber. It's great to have you with us. Thank you. Okay, so with that, um, I uh, will just tell you that I am, in my role here at ICAR, I'm responsible for all of our Isaacs, our industry segment advisory councils, uh, and in the last three or so years, since I've been an employee at ICAR, uh, I've had the, the pleasure of spending quite a bit of time with the Collision Repair Isaac, and quite a, li quite a bit of time with each of you on that Collision Repair Isaac. Uh, developing the next phase of our professional development program, 
uh, and uh, I've enjoyed it. Hopefully you have. But first question for you, uh, as an Isaac member, it really helped us to shape the changes that we just announced about our professional development program. Uh, tell us about your experience. And we'll start with Bill. So, you know, it's kind of interesting. You know, we met many times uh, discussing and shaping these changes that are about to be announced. And I can remember that first meeting. We, we sat there and we looked at, you know, what was being proposed and we scrapped the whole thing. And I thought everybody was going to die in the room, especially all the folks at ICAR that had worked so hard to try to bring it all together. And uh, it was interesting how, you know, how openly you accepted all these suggestions and agreed for us to restart anew and, and you know, bring some fresh ideas to the table that may have not been considered, uh, some of the segments that weren't really considered, and uh, it was a great experience. Um, it was hard. It was long. There were lots of meetings, but uh, I think it was very meaningful, and I think, you know, the, the product will show that. So well, thanks for that. I appreciate the comments. Mark, how about you, from your perspective? Well, I think that uh, it goes to show that ICAR is listening to the industry, um, especially with the complexity of cars that's going on right now. It's imperative that the shops keep on getting continual education. And uh, by segmenting the different role, roles out and uh, redoing them, I think, is uh, uh, a great way to listen to the industry and be part of and and us being part of that um, it just shows that uh, ICAR does pay attention and uh, hopefully getting you know so that the manufacturers pay attention to us and the insurance companies as well so it was a great experience I uh, totally enjoyed it but like uh, Bill said there's a lot of meetings and uh, that's that's a, everything uh, has to have evolve and I think that's what we showed happened here in the whole process that it, it, it evolved and uh, I think the end product is is great for us. Mark, thanks for the, the comments. Uh, you know, you and Bill, actually and Tim, uh, to some extent Amber, participated in a lot of meetings. I mean, there's no question about it. And for a while there, maybe Bill, to your point, uh, we thought we had the program nailed down and as we rolled it out, uh, to you folks, uh, you guys were pretty vocal about mm, maybe that's not it. And uh, we did go back to the drawing board. Um, I, I talked a little bit uh, yesterday when we, we spoke uh, about the, the first time we presented the professional development pro program redesign. And that was, uh, we thought we would keep it simple. And it was only a six hour presentation. I remember that pretty vividly. Uh, that was a little bit torturous. But uh, uh, I'm sure you guys remember that uh, as well. Uh, Tim, how about from your perspective? Um, you know, how, how was your experience with our Isaacs? Um, well, I agree with Bill. I, I was there, you know, as we redesigned it and came into a room with you guys with broad smiles on your face, thinking you're going to roll out this newly designed program that we beat up severely and uh, sent you off to the locker room to lick your wounds and come back out fighting. Uh, and then certainly Mark, uh, his comments about uh, you listening to the industry are right on the point. Uh, but I'd like to say that I think you're also leading the industry. You kind of see where it's going and you have to be a step ahead of what we need in education and training and not just listening to us after the fact and being behind the curve. So uh, it's been a great experience. I'm proud to be a part of it. Great. Yeah, thanks, Tim. Amber, how about you? Well, I have to say, um, a, a year and a half ago when I attended my first meeting, I didn't quite know what to expect. And I was so impressed um, by the amount of work that had already been done to that point. Um, and, you know, it was it was exciting to see. And then since then, the few meetings that I've attended, um, I, I'm very impressed. Um, it's really given me a different view of ICAR. I mean, before, you know, you'd buy your coupons or you'd come in. And I, I feel like um, that this has been a genuine effort to get it right. And although, you know, it's not going to initially 
be able to be everything that the vision is there for. Um, I think it's definitely headed in the right direction. And I think that um, the industry should be very thankful for the effort. Um, and yeah, and I, I just, like I said, I've been really impressed with, with ICAR as, as a, as a company, um, and how much they valued our, our voice in that discussion. Um, and, you know, not to mention the insurance side, the MSO side, the OEM side. I mean, I know that you guys have worked tirelessly to, to get this right. And, um, you know, I, I, I appreciate that. And again, I just, it really has um, been a positive experience.